Hey you guys, it's Nilsa. I'm here with my wedding photographer. Hey, I'm Helen. And my wedding design team. Hey, I'm Courtney with Miss Millie's. Hi, I'm Taylor with Miss Millie's. And we're going to be answering some of the most asked questions that I've gotten about all things wedding. So we're gonna get started. What were your wedding day must haves? My wedding day must haves, I would say the number one thing that I loved was the champagne wall that y'all designed. Mm -hmm. I think that was a perfect way for everyone to find their seating chart. And it was like a more modern day than just having everyone's name on the table. I thought it was really cute. And you got a glass of champagne when you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> and it eliminates the rush to the bar. Right. Guests. So right after the ceremony, everyone has a glass of champagne waiting and you can kind of slowly get the line started at the bar. Yeah. It makes for really pretty pictures as well. Yes. <laughs> Plus at every wedding, you want to have your one main thing that's different from everyone else. The champagne wall is super unique and everyone loves it. I knew there were a ton of Instagram stories of it. Mm -hmm. There were, and who doesn't like champagne? <laughs> what was the hardest decor piece to pick? What was my hardest decor piece? Oh, what did I kept going back and forth? We, on? Well, the centerpieces, right? So before you came in, there was a you had a little bit of a struggle with like, what do I want my centerpieces to look like? What are we gonna do? So when you finally came in, it was like you you're able to play with all the pieces that we have, and I think that's when it started to like feel a little bit easier too. It was kind of obvious what things you liked and what things you didn't like. Yeah, because like I came in, they have a whole warehouse of stuff. So they were able to say, do you like this one with this? Oh no, you don't like that list, replace it with this. Do you like them big, do you like them small? And of course the bigger, the better for me. And they were <laughs> able to do all of that and it made for great photos. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely did. Is a wedding planner worth getting? Is a wedding planner worth getting? I would not have survived without my design team and I hate to go back to my first wedding, but my first wedding, it was just me and my family doing it all. And I literally was the ultimate bridezilla that day because everything was just so unorganized. There was stuff still needed to be done while I'm literally walking down the aisle. So I was just everywhere on my first wedding day. And then on my second wedding, was I a bridezilla? Not at all. Like not even close. <laughs> you were wonderful. You were peaceful. Yeah. You weren't allowed to get anything else done for the wedding what the whole uh, day before mm -hmm. so you are like started enjoying your wedding i did and no stress and another thing i helped was the timeline that you had me fill out before yes. the wedding yeah so i sent out a questionnaire to nilsa and she filled it out let me know what time she's arrived and what time is makeup done and from all that we were able to put together what time she's putting her dress on and doing those photos portraits all the way to ceremony and then we took it from there it's it flowed so smoothly because like, I didn't have to think like, do I want photos with this grandparents or this family or this friend or whatever? I literally had it all down on that sheet yeah. that you had me fill out. And so it flowed so smoothly because it was already written out and yes. planned. It was thought, thought through already and we had a list of the family that we wanted formal pictures with. And right after a ceremony, we were able to just knock them out. Yeah, and then go party. <laughs> I think the key is like, let the professionals do it. Yeah. Tell us what you want and then let us handle it for you. So all you have to think about that day is like having fun, enjoying yourself and like soaking it all in. Yes. yes. And the best thing about a planner is having everything ready. So making sure your planner talks with the photographer and gets everything done because your planner should promise you that the day of you're not making any decisions, which I know is something we were really passionate about is that at 10 a.m. no decisions were made by you anymore and yeah. instead was taken care of by your team mm -hmm. who are professionals and know what they're doing and how to make sure you were having the best day possible as well. Yes, I, I had like the best wedding day mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> it's been funny though, like now telling you things that happened on your wedding day that you had no idea that about. That I had no idea <laughs> about, like, and now I'm like, ha, oh, that's so funny, but for y'all it was probably stressful. <laughs> it, was, it, it was fine because we do this every day, Yeah. yeah. but it would have been stressful for you. Yeah, yeah. if you had known about it. I had no clue there was any hiccups at all <laughs> at least it was us running around and not you yes. that day and that's yeah. what's the most important because you don't want to ruin the makeup and the hair Let yeah. us do that instead. <laughs> don't want to become a bridezilla yeah. <laughs> what's the best environment to take wedding photos oh that's a good question for you yes so we always like to go to a shaded area so for instance when nosa was getting ready she was still in her robe we went we took her outside she had her hair and makeup done already and we found a shaded area with the best natural lighting kind of shining on her face and we got some photos of her drinking her champagne. Yes, cheers. 
And um, and then after that, we just picked more shaded areas around the venue that uh, show really nice lighting. Yeah. How long should wedding planning take? <laughs> well, if you're asking, don't, I'm not a good person to ask because we planned my wedding in what, two months? Was it two months? I mean, it, like, it felt like less most, than two months. At the most like two, two months. Weeks. But yeah. what is the normal? It just depends. I mean, I definitely think at least six I would to say eight months. If you can start a year out, that's better because then it's not taking up your entire life. I know mm -hmm. those two months, we were back and forth phone calls and texts mm -hmm. every single day, yeah. which is totally fine if that's what is needed. But if you can start as early as possible, then definitely I would recommend booking your venue, your florist, and also your planner as soon as possible and getting mm -hmm. that out of the way and then going slowly from there. And, and the further or the closer that you get to your wedding date, the harder it's going to be to find quality vendors and the harder it's going to be to like save money and be budget conscious because as um you know as it approaches our schedules book up and so it's just we have a lot less flexibility but so we can obviously we can do it in two months and we did it and we did lucky. it well <laughs> <laughs> like we pulled like that was a big wedding we yeah. pulled it, you know it was great um but ideally i would say um a year out but you know we we've got some books two years from now right. so and how long do you usually book out for so usually within um maybe a couple months after getting engaged and usually that's maybe 12 months before the wedding day mm -hmm. and we just as wedding professionals at least for us like we love to give you this whole experience and we don't want to bombard you with like all the emails and text messages so it's just really important to have some time to be able to get you know take everything in and get everything checked off and not have to rush around and trying to answer everybody not get once. a text message to-do list every morning yes, like, yes! <laughs> but it's okay it was the best i couldn't ask for a better wedding day yeah so. plus well, as a bride and, you want to be able to research like your different options and such and not just go with this is who i have luckily like it worked out for us that all the vendors you had were amazing yes. but not everyone has that luck with that. Mm -hmm. But in, in at the same time, if you find one vendor you really connect with mm -hmm. and you book them early and talk to them and see what vendors mm -hmm. they recommend and you really benefit from going with those strong relationships yeah. because mm -hmm. vendors who work well together tend to do more and go above and beyond together. Yeah, yeah. that's so true. I mm -hmm. think I got lucky because whenever I had my maternity t pictures taken by you, <laughs> I was like, I want her to yeah. shoot my wedding. I hope she's available and right. luckily you were. Yes, we made it all work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's something unique you did at your wedding that you just loved? Something unique I did at the wedding, I definitely would say the champagne wall. Mm -hmm. I definitely would say the photo booths. We had these fun photo booths where everyone got a printout they got two printouts of their photos that they took at the photo booth and one they all wrote a sweet note on the back and then one they got to keep for themselves mm -hmm. so i have all those photo booth pictures that everyone took and it was so awesome because i can go back and like relive those memories of like what everyone else was doing at the wedding and the eight hour open bar was just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> i also really loved your um instead of gifts you had um, the like QR code for Gray's college fund. Yeah. And I thought that was really that, special. Yes. Yeah, I figured since Gus and I already have our house, we already have cars, we went to the World Series game, so we weren't really gonna take like a honeymoon. <laughs> so I was like, what else can we do? And I was like, I've seen a bunch of people do like college funds for their kids. And I'm like, I already have everything I want and Gus already has me and that's everything. That I want. <laughs> so, um, you know, what else could we have? And I'm like, okay, a college fund for Gray. Yeah. So if we start now, that boy's gonna be able to go to Harvard. Well, yes. <laughs> How did you decide on the day of wedding timeline? Um, how did I decide on the day of wedding timeline? I really think that was basically the questionnaire that you sent me, yeah. um, for photo wise at least. So, and she, then, so you gave her your information yeah. as far as like kind of what pictures you wanted and, and you started that part of the timeline and then sent yeah. that over to us Yes, and we coordinated all the other vendors and were able to kind of line up exactly where you should be and when you should be there. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, and then we we created a little thing for like your bridesmaids and everyone yeah. to put as their like screensaver on the back on the you know the backdrop of their phone. Yeah. So everyone knew where to be, when to be there. And, and we like, also were able to do um, the itinerary for our wedding guests. So everyone right. that stayed at the hotel, we were able. I don't know if that was that something y'all made. 
I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. 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 There's a lot. We did a lot in those two months. Um, <laughs> so we put the itinerary and all the wedding guest gift bags that were staying at the hotel so that they would, in their gift bag, they would know exactly what's happening the wedding day, when the ceremony is, when the cocktail hour is, when the reception is, when this, is and this. And it worked out great for us. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, we got, everybody was where they were supposed to be, when they were supposed to be there. Yeah. All right, two last questions. How do you hire a destination wedding photographer? How do I hire a destination wedding photographer? Yeah, so she reached out to me and let me know exactly the location, venue, and everything like that. And then we just coordinated, you know, which package she wanted to go with, how much time she wanted. And we have a specific destination uh, package so that, you know, you're able to add on rehearsal dinner coverage or the next day we can do a shoot like that. So it was easy for Nilsa because she knew the location well, you know, it's your hometown mm -hmm. and you had the venue picked out, you had all the vendors coming from Atlanta too. So it just worked out really well, I think. Yeah, it did. All right, last one. What's one piece of advice you'd give to engage brides right now who are in the middle of wedding planning? One piece of advice I would give to engage couples that are in the middle of wedding planning yeah. is hire Helen and Miss Millie. <laughs> to take care of you you're not gonna have to worry about anything kind of what we said earlier in the video like I I had I, no one bothered me the day of my wedding they took care of they weren't allowed to, yeah, they weren't allowed to. <laughs> and everything just went so smoothly and when I say like I had the best wedding day ever I really did and another thing is um the first look that we did at the like the ceremony mm -hmm. or not the ceremony the, the, cocktail, um, the cocktail during the cocktail hour gus and i went into the reception where everything it, it was like i was walking into a garden it was so beautiful <laughs> and that was a moment that gus and i just got to have together and it was something you recommended and you were able to take photos of our yeah. first look at the reception and that was just a moment I'll always remember so that's definitely something I would recommend you guys do and another piece of advice um don't let the stress of wedding planning take away uh, what the day is supposed to be I know wedding planning can be very stressful but just remember that it's a time that you and your husband are going to become one and just enjoy all all of it and even the hard parts amen yeah so, <laughs> cheers cheers you guys so I want you guys to follow Miss Millie's and Helen on social media. So if you guys want to shout out your handles. Yeah, we're just at Miss Millie's. At Helen CO Photos. And thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to check out their websites and their social medias. And I will see you guys soon. Cheers. 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 Cheers one more time. Cheers. Killer. That was great.